continuing on with tempo, live can actually receive tempo information from old school drum machines, from other applications on your Mac, and it can actually pass tempo information on to other applications in the Mac or again to outboard old school devices. How? All you have to do is go to the MIDI sync prefs. And right here, you see that I have a pad control on. I'm going to unplug it and it's gone. I'm going to plug it in and it's there. On the input of this pad control, the MIDI in, I have my trusty Revolution 309 by Quasi MIDI. It's an old school device. It's a drum machine. And it's sitting over here and it's running at, let's see, 100 beats per minute. And I want to be able to open up that 100 beats per minute into live so that live can see this. Watch right here next to tap. The second I open up this porch, right, by doing this, I get an external indicator and I have a sync in indicator. And let me just to prove the point, I'm going to run this drum machine all the way up to like 170. Hold on here. Okay, that's 175. And you can see it clicking right along nicely. Now, what if I wanted to figure out which kind of tempo stuff it's sending? MIDI clock is something that most sequencers send and receive. MIDI time code is something newer, and that has to do mostly with control surfaces. If I go to MIDI time code, I lose that input altogether. Okay, so MIDI clock. Now, I can also punch a hole out of my Ableton session and send sync information down the road. Now, I'm just going to just quickly go MIDI out sync. Now, if I hit MIDI out and sync, I'm going to have nothing. And again, we're watching this bottom indicator. The difference would be that I want to send out control information. That would be start, stop, and tempo. So the second I send control information, then I'm going to start sending tempo and I have to be in run a transport to see it. So now I'm sending on, I'm able to receive from the revolution, it's BPM. And again, I have this same little dialogue here if I roll that arrow, but this time it's a little different. The MIDI clock type would either be song based or pattern based. This is a reference way back beyond the scope of this. Um, all you would really want to know is, hey, is that dang thing working or not? And then again, if you wanted to be able to start and stop live based on MIDI information from that old school drum machine, you'd have to have this on. Okay, so I've got my external that shows me that I'm receiving something and, it's, and it shows me also that I'm sending something. Okay, so that's sending and receiving external clock for live.